Hi ladies, welcome to Mathnasium of South Huntington. We're so happy to have you. Welcome to our center. I'd like to introduce you to our center director, Naka. Hi guys, I'm Naka. I'm going to be your center director. I hope you guys are ready for an exciting day of fun math tricks. Make sure to grab your binders and we'll get started. All right, ladies, today we're going to talk about percents, something tremendously important to everyday life. Where have we usually seen percents? And when we're shopping, right? If something's 50% off, what does that mean? Half price. Exactly. Where does that 50% come from? Let's break down the word percent. So whenever we see the word per, like miles per gallon, cost per pound, what do we think of whenever we see per? For every? For every, five miles per gallon, for every gallon, you're going five miles. And now let's break down that word cent. Where have we seen that word cent? We have it when we see century, cents in terms of money. money. How many years in a century? 100. 100. 100. Cent means for every 100. Wow. And let's start there. I'm very excited to have joined the Mathnasium team. As the center director here, I have many years of experience in the education field. I used to run an SAT company and helping students overcome big challenges like the SATs or getting over their anxiety for math is what I have a true passion for. That would just be 5% there, right? What if I said 30% of 100? 30. 30, right? That's why percents are so nice. They're something that are out of 100. My name is Pooja Mahotra and I am the co-owner of Mathnasium of South Huntington. We chose to open Mathnasium of South Huntington because we saw a need in the community. My own children benefited greatly from attending another Mathnasium and I found that it really helped them progress and most importantly gain confidence in math. We, so we have five for every 100 there and what if we had 300 there? 5% of 300 would be 15. Fantastic. What's 20% of 200? 40. 40. And then 20% of 300? 60. Oh, Diane. Someone's a pro at math already. Whoa. What we're trying to do here is more than making kids great at math, is hoping that they find that instructor that inspires them to help them pursue math into the future. Five. It would five. be five of those. So that, right. right? Five for 50. So it would be? 15. 15. Let me show yeah. you a cool trick. Yeah, if you have 10% of 150, we just move the decimal place One spot. and it makes it 15, a little shortcut there. Say you're going on a date and your bill comes out to $120. You had to tip 20% on this. So how do we do that quickly? 10% of 120 would be 12. 12. So 20% would just be another? 12. 12. So and then you're paying 144. One of my friends went on a date and was trying to calculate the tip counting his fingers. I was like, you're not getting a second yeah. <laughs> Now that everyone feels a little bit comfortable with the percents, why don't we do a little bit of work on this so we can earn some stars, which is what it's all about. As a Huntington resident for the last 10 years, I knew that if I were going to open a business, it had to be in my own community where I serve on PTA boards and I volunteer and I have been working as a social worker for many years. So it would be five for the first hundred and then? So what's that answer going to be? Ten. 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 Awesome, all right? Shot. Nine percent of three hundred? What are you doing to me? How many nines are going to be in there? The answer's going to be twenty-seven. Woo! Shh. You did that in your oh hand? My God. Awesome job on those pages, ladies. And here's a trick not many people know about percents. Percents are reversible. You can just flip the order in which it's written. What is two hundred percent of sixteen? Oh Lord. 32. 32. It's twice as much. 200%. Oh. Twice as much of 16, which is also 32. It's commutative. You can just flip it all around and it still gives you the same answer. Let's look at this. 12% of 25. That's super ugh. But yeah. if you flip it around, what's 25% of 12? <gasps> well, that's a little bit more manageable. Yeah. Great. And that is three, right? It's the same thing as taking a quarter of that. Math. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> All right. You did get it. I did. That's cool. I yeah. did. All right, so we studied percents. Let's take a look at triangles, kind of the foundations of geometry, because before there was math with algebra and x's and y's, it was all about geometry. The most important shapes they really understood, right triangles specifically, the ones that have a right angle in it. Some engineers and construction workers use geometry and just measurement mm -hmm. to figure out if they're building things at right angles. Yes. Yes. So if we know geometry, we can build a bridge. 
You we can, can build, build a world. Anything. There you go. And it's the fundamentals of engineering. And it comes down to a special theorem. Maybe you guys have heard of it. Begins with P, rhymes with Schmemagorean. <laughs> Pythagorean. Yes, Pythagorean <laughs> theorem. This whole classic a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We are located at 7 East Jericho Turnpike in the Dortoni Bakery Plaza across from Target and CVS. It's a great place to drop off your kids while you shop and they get their math work done. Any of the missing sides of the triangle just using this formula. And what it comes from is just taking the lengths of each side, squaring them of each of the legs, and it will always, always equal that hypotenuse squared. Now, what I want to show you are some interesting groupings of numbers, what they call the Pythagorean triples, like 3, 4, 5. Now, if we take a look at the math here, if I do 3 squared, that's 3 times 3, plus 3 squared is? 6, nine, 9, 9. I'm terrible. And I'm telling four you. 4 squared is just 4 times 4, which is? 16. 16. And we add those together, that gives us 25. 25. But remember, it's this number squared, so if we take the square root of that, it's just 5, five. right? So 3 squared plus 4 squared always equals 5 squared. Now, yeah? It's a good thing that I'm not in charge of building bridges. Just want to say that. I'm never going to build you bridges. bridges. <laughs> Fail. Every student that walks through our doors gets a free assessment to see what they're great at, what they could work on, and how we can come up with a customized game plan to get them ahead. So if you're looking to keep up, catch up, or get ahead, we're the people for you. So come on down and meet our staff so hopefully you can find that instructor that inspires you. Multiples work, we can find missing measurements without using this whole formula. So as long as you recognize, hey, is that a multiple of three or four? Three. Yeah, that's just three times two. Eight's just going to be? Four times four two. Times two. Four times two, and this will be? Five, Five times, times two. two. Five times two, which is ten. So without having to do with the square roots and squaring because eh, if you recognize, hey, that's just three times two, four times two, five times two, you can figure out any of the missing sides without having to do all that crazy squaring and square roots. Cool? cool. That, much better. So much let's better. take a look at some problems and see oh, what we can right. figure oh. out. Can we watch TV instead? Oh, for sings. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> all right, let's take a look at that top left one. I used to like you. <laughs> Well, you're going to love me by the end of this, and you're going to love triangles. <laughs> and 16. Well, that's going to be what? Three. Three times? Four. four. This is? Four, four times four. One times four. four. And this is? Five, Five times, times four, four, so that makes it 20. 20. 20. Earn some more stars. OK. Yeah, there we go. They're motivated again. I want one of those plushy things. Right. So, so one last brain. thing on Pythagorean theorem, and then we're going to talk about uh, pi. pi a little bit. A lot of students get confused with some of these like very advanced topics. Here, I'll just show you. This is going to traumatize some people here, but let's go. Buckle up, buttercup. One thing I have a passion for is taking these very complex topics and making it very approachable. Ah, that says better. yuck. And that looks terrifying to students. Yeah. Because if I have some center HK, whatever that is, okay. and some point XY, and I want to find out like what the radius of this circle that goes around it. Oh, Lord. It's just the Pythagorean theorem. Sometimes kids miss that part. Yeah. So we go back to that for the kids who can't, you know, don't know it. Yeah, we, we tie it all together. That's incredible. It really is remarkable. Who wants some star punches? Me. <laughs> yes. So everybody, we're going to learn about pi today. Does anybody know about pi? Can you tell me what you know? It's I a, like apple. Yes. How about you? I know it's a giant number. Dana? 3.14? Yes, that's right. But it also Ish. continues on longer. Yes, 3.14. Infinite. Ish. Simply stated, pi is the measurement around a circle divided by across a circle. And for you to see that in real life, I'm going to have you measure a pi right now and do the calculation for me. I know the answer already. The answer is it's a nine inch pi. <laughs> this. <laughs> So let's test out what we just stated, what pi was. We said that it was going around a pi, which we call circumference, okay. Okay. divided by across the pi, which we call diameter. So I'm going to have you start, Diane, by measuring our diameter with this measuring tape. And you can tell me what it's that measurement is. You're going to go is across this like this. this. Yeah. yeah. OK. Nine. So nine inches. Like you said, it's a nine inch pi. And Dana, could I have you take the measurement around the pi, the circumference of the pi? 
This sounded easy. Here, wait, you're in the middle of the <laughs> pie here. You're ruining our pie. <laughs> Okay, so lovely. we're a little right. bit over 27. Little. We got about 28 and a half. Okay, I get so. it. So three times three times three, and then a little bit more. Yes, you got it, I got exactly. It. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> Didn't need the calculator for that one, right? And now the best part, we get to eat it. That's the best part <laughs> of this whole class. Do we get a star, though? That's the important thing. Yes, yes and you get a star. Yes. Diane is very motivated. Our pricing plans start at roughly $37 a session. Depending on where your child is at and what their needs are, we offer plans anywhere from one session a week to up to 10 sessions a month. So we invite you to come in and chat with us and see what works for you and your family. All right, you ladies worked very hard today. Time to earn some extra stars with some spins. One, Whoa. Whoa. Wow. That's the most stars you can get. I bet we could figure out the pie of this summer. <laughs> Roll two six-sided dice. Eleven. You got eleven. Eleven stars. Wow. Eleven stars. Full card of stars. Full card of stars. Red chair Ooh. for the day. You get to rock the instructor chair. Okay. So, ladies, you've worked so hard today. You've spun the wheel. You've earned extra stars. It's time to redeem your cards for rewards from our rewards cabinet. Yay. <laughs> Take a peek inside and see what you'd like to take home with you today. I already know what wow. I want. <laughs> what do you want? I want, I want the drone. <laughs> I want the drone. How cool well, I'm going to manage your expectations. Oh. It's going to take a few months to get there, but right, you will. The you. more you come and the more you math, the quicker you'll earn it. But that's a good goal. Yes, it's a good goal. Absolutely. I like this. Thinking putty. Thinking putty. Very cool. We had such a fun day with you ladies. I hope you'll come back soon. This was so been a great time. Yeah, Thank this was you. amazing. We'll be back next week. Yes. I want this. We had an exciting day of math and to wind down, we have a few minutes. Why don't we play some games and have some pie? We're so excited to have Huntington Matters come in today for our visit, and we're proud to extend this offer to all of you. Mention the video when you come in, not only get the free assessment, but we are offering a free trial class as well. If you're ever curious in seeing what Mathnasium is like and how we can help you, come on down to our center at 7 East Jericho Turnpike. We're located right across from the CVS and Target and in the same plaza as Dortoni's Bakery and Jersey Mike's. If your kids feel anxious about math, this is the perfect place to bring them. This is not a place where we worry about grading or homework or time limits. Actually, the only thing negative about this place are the numbers. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I have to do it.